we are going to focus on Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare and the language of love. This video will be particularly helpful for those studying Romeo and Juliet at GCSE. The purpose of this video is to develop your vocabulary and understanding. The word love is mentioned 94 times in Romeo and Juliet. One way to explore this theme is to consider the complex emotions and motivations Romeo and Juliet display and declare as the plot unfolds. At the start of the play, Romeo believes himself to be in love. He is besotted, depressed, infatuated, obsessed, distracted. He says, I have lost myself. I am not here. This is not Romeo. He is some other where. The emotionally immature Romeo is acting out of character. His love is unrequited and his feelings are those of the inexperienced. In direct contrast, when Romeo first sees Juliet, his language becomes elevated and is matched by Juliet's replies. The dialogue between them forms a sonnet. This sonnet presents itself to be playful, flirtatious and reciprocated. If I profane with my unworthiest hand, this holy shrine the gentle fine is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hands too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints' lips and holy palmer's too? I pilgrim lips that they must use in prayer. O oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do, they pray grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not, while my prayer's effect I take. The otherworldly nature of their love is described as heavenly and holy. This implies its sincerity, and the natural fit of the dialogue suggests Romeo and Juliet's compatibility. They complement each other. As the plot develops, Romeo continues to describe his love in celestial terms. Juliet is the sun, she is a bright angel. In the balcony scene, he is euphoric, elated and enraptured. Juliet, although passionate in her words, my bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep, the more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Remains practical, driven, and purposeful, wanting to secure the next step. If that thy bent of love be honourable, thy purpose marriage send me word to-morrow. Once married, Juliet is impatient and desperate to be with Romeo. The love between Romeo and Juliet presents the friar with a plan for reconciliation between the Capulets and the Montagues. He recognises the depth and power of their love and their instance to be married without delay. His naivety and misplaced hope plays a part in the tragic conclusion to the lover's fate. When Juliet discovers that Romeo has killed Tybalt, she remains loyal and committed. Give this ring to my true knight. At Friar Lawrence's cell, Romeo's reaction is to despair, and he loses control and becomes impulsive, drawing his sword. Hold thy desperate hand. Art thou a man? Thy form cries out thou art. Thy tears are womanish. Juliet goes to the friar for counsel as she has severed ties with her nurse, who has advised her to forget Romeo and switch her alliance to Paris. Juliet's violence and desperation are similar to that of Romeo's. Oh, bid me leap rather than marry Paris from off the battlements of yonder tower. She eagerly accepts the friar's plan. She is fearless and resolved. Give me, give me, oh, tell not me of fear. I hope this video has offered a wide and varied vocabulary to support the study of the theme of love in Romeo and Juliet. 